So I want to tell you about something a little bit interesting, perhaps. Um, I found it interesting, at least. I've been working on my portfolio a lot recently. I signed with a new agent. She wants me to have some new types of work in there. And um, yeah, she wants me to basically work harder, which is good because I needed that push. Um, I wasn't getting it before, but now I'm sort of on that trajectory, which is great, which is also why there's been fewer videos recently. I just haven't had the time. Um, but anyway, as I was going through it, if you've ever been into Lightroom, you can filter by... Um, lenses and camera bodies and serial numbers and all this stuff. And I thought, oh, I'll filter by lens. And at first I thought it was broken. And it wasn't. It is that my entire front page of my website is shot on the same lens. There's a few interesting things about this which I think could help you guys as well. Now the lens in question is this. It is a, it's about as fancy as you can get for a 100 millimeter lens for a 35 millimeter camera system. It is not the fanciest lens in the world by any far stretch of imagination, but this is the Carl Zeiss Milvis Macro Planar F200 millimeter with a T-star next to it. Um, it's a lovely lens. It is a little bit pricey, but it's not ridiculous. It's not like Hasselblad lens pricey. It's all metal, it's got the gaskets. It's incredibly good. It is a, it's as good as I can get for what I have. Now, when I went into my commercial work portfolio, I suddenly realized I had all sorts of lenses going on. I was using the 45 tilt shift, the 90 tilt shift. I was using a lot of the 120 phase lens and a lot of the 80 millimeter phase lens, 45 millimeter on the phase. There's a few other peculiar lenses in there as well and cameras with bellows. But my actual portfolio, and that's what gets me these paying jobs, was all shot on one lens. And I think that's interesting for a few reasons. One is, it helps give me that concise voice. If I had everything from super wide angle to super telephoto going in in there, it's really varied, but having this thing which I go, I think things look best like this, it sort of, it sort of adds to that niche I'm trying to build and that aesthetic I wanna go, look, this is my type of work. And the reason I wanna tell you this is because I get a lot of DMs of people going, shall I buy this lens, shall I get this lens, do I need this, do I need that? Almost all of my portfolio was shot with either the Broncola Hazy, which in layman's terms is a softbox, or a P70 reflector, or a soft lighter, which is kind of a beauty dish with a scrim in front of it. Three modifiers, almost all of them were shot with only one light and a 100 millimeter lens, and that is it. It doesn't deviate from that. And putting this into context for everyone else who's trying to become a professional photographer, is perhaps already a professional photographer, but doesn't quite yet have the cash to go and buy everything, it means that you just need to rent stuff because I own all the kit nowadays, but when it comes to personal work, it's only the 100 that comes out. If I have a big job, I'll rent a phase, I'll rent a sign or whatever it may be, I'll be renting that kit. Um, although I do have all the Canon options, I've sort of got 17 millimeter to 200 and zoom fixed uh, aperture lenses. And then I've got 35, 40 technical lens, 50 millimeter, 85, 90 technical lens and two different copies of a 100 millimeter lens because that's my favorite lens. I've got everything I need to do these things, but I still only use the one lens. So much so that this camera that I shoot with it, which is a 5DSR, is bolted to the tripod permanently. The lens is always on there and it just doesn't come off unless I'm working for a paying client, at which point we fix the problem. Same with lights. I have, I don't know if you can see in the background, is it this way? There we go. That's my hazy. No, this way. And this is a P70 on a pulso head. That's pretty much all I use. I have a lot of stuff for problem solving when clients want something specific, but when it comes to creating my own work, there are no problems because my vision is what it is and I don't need to worry about laws of physics and whatnot for my personal style. That may differ for you. And I think it's really interesting that I have so little kit. I have a spare camera and a spare lens for my personal work, which is the same, um, but it's all the same thing. I don't have loads of kit that I use. I have loads of kit and I think, a big problem with YouTube as a platform is that a lot of you see all of the stuff behind me and go, well, that's an older kid, of course you can do that. But really, I use one camera and one lens. And before I had the 5DSR and the 100 millimeter Milvus, I had the Canon uh, cheap version of the 100 mm lens and a 5D Mark II. And some of that work is still in my portfolio. And there's no problem with image quality. It is better image quality on the 5DSR and this one here, but both are competitive with one another. The, the subject's more important than the actual equipment. And I hope this sort of thing is of use to you or of interest to you, or at least makes you feel a little bit more reassured. If I lived in London or a capital city, I would only own the 100 millimeter lens and the 5DSR, and I'd rent everything for shoots because I could literally walk down to a rental house, but I don't live a bit further away, so I make sure I've got a good stock of 35 millimeter kit, and then when a big job comes in, we rent big cameras because I can't really justify having 70,000 pounds of camera devaluing when I only shoot now and there. Anyway, in the comments below, I'd like to know what you'd like to know about camera kit and camera gear that professionals use so I can sort of help dispel some of the myths, especially when so many people have endorsement deals with brands. I get sent loads of free stuff and I try and make it very clear that I didn't pay for it. 
And the stuff I have paid for is my Canon camera, my Bron color lights, and my lenses. That, that stuff I have paid for. A lot of the video kits I've got here, like the microphones and the lights, I get sent that stuff for free, which is very kind of people. Um, but you don't need it all. You don't have to have all these things. So any questions you have about professional photography equipment and requirements and what people expect from professional photography image quality, pop that in the comments below. And I'll try and make a video answering all of those questions. Anyway, I hope you're all keeping safe. Do share these videos out with your friends. It really helps me. Do hit like, do hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.